You uh, you saw that uh, Matt Rule got fired? Yeah, one four start with the Panthers, dude. It's a tough deal. Yeah, the reason I brought that up is I saw um, a tweet by RG3, which I do. I actually, this is one of the times where I was looking at that. And I'm like, I mean, that's like, that is something that players have like talked about before. It's like, you have a coach who gets bought out. He was on his, what, third year of a seven-year deal? And he gets bought out, and he's ba- he's making over forty million dollars, north of forty million dollars for his buyout, Taylor. And yeah. um, they paid him; they paid Baylor six million to take his contract, and then they signed him to a seven year deal. And in that third deal, he gets fired, and now he's still set to make forty million dollars. It's like that's the case for like players need to be players need to have guaranteed contracts that match the coaches, or coaches don't need to be having these massive buyouts for when they get fired because it's all performance based. Like what's up? He's getting uh, like eight hundred sixty-five thousand for the next forty-eight months straight. God, and it's like yo, if you're bad at your job performance-wise, and you get fired, and you're getting a massive buyout like that, like that's that's like another, just another angle on if you're fighting the good fight for players trying to get guaranteed contracts. That's a good metric to look at and be like, hey, coaches are getting these fucking buyouts to be shitty, to be garbage, to lead your product that you want to be better. You're gonna still pay them forty million dollars or over forty million dollars. Yeah, yeah. Coaches yeah, are in so such a better situation than players. Well, th- from that standpoint, yeah, you're you're 100 right. And I don't think like I don't think the buyout should change at all. Like, I mean, keep the co- give give the coaches all the money they want. Everyone, like, I'm a big guy. Like, hey, if you if you're doing a job, get paid as much as you can. So if the coaches get fired and he's getting 40 million dollars, good for him. But yeah, I I agree. There needs to be um, a bigger push. That's where the NFLP needs to come in, dude. How are the, all these other sports are getting guaranteed contracts, but football is not, and it's the most injury-ridden sport. It's the, like the the most contact, the most violence, and the least long-term. So why are like these guys should be getting guaranteed contracts all the way through? There should be no talk about this or that. Like, it, you know, you can have the stipulations like you play a certain amount of snaps per year, or your weight clause that what's his name Eddie Lacy or whatever the fuck his name was back at the Packers. You can have stuff like that, but if you sign a contract, you should get all. You should absolutely get all that money. But it, it's what you and I talk about all the time. It turns into the uh, the quarterbacks. Everything starts at the top and has to trickle down. The quarterbacks need to do it. Lamar, like we talked about last week, is a huge case for that. And if he's able to go and do something like that, where he gets a guaranteed contract, then it starts going to the offensive line, the receivers, and the defensive line, and then it just keeps moving forward. And that's the way you do it. But you need a couple of those Kirk Cousins out there to start doing it that way and make it more the norm. Yeah, no, I agree. Cause it's strictly going off of the stance of how do we get NFL players, the boys, more money, who you look at to try and compare and say, Hey, these dudes are fucking getting that. That should help us leverage wise to be like in it. Not, not like a similar situation to where you're still getting bought out the entirety of your contract. But if you're sitting there and you're getting fired based on like performance that both sides bet on, uh, like, cause like you said, there should still be probably stipulations within the contract. That'll, that'll always happen no matter what. Uh, but you're right. Like you need some, you need some top dogs and it's going to come from quarterbacks, but you need top dogs to take less of a ceiling as far as the guarantees go to raise and try to get as much juice as you can from that guarantee. Like you're right. Like that is where it starts. It starts with like the faces of the NFL to do that. 